Hello, friends and family. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. My name's Tom. My wife, Melissa, is running the camera today. It is three days before New Year's Eve. And you know if you're going to be up to watch the ball drop in Times Square, you have to have snacks. You have to have something to munch on if you're going to stay up that late. So today we're going to make a butterscotch apple dip that will be really good for you to have for New Year's Eve or really for any time. It's a great snack to have if you're watching a ball game or you're just sitting around on Friday night playing games with your family or whatever, but this would be perfect for New Year's Eve. So let's look at what you're going to need for butterscotch apple dip. The first thing you need is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now I have the Eagle brand brand, but anything will work, store brands will work or whatever, but I have Eagle brand today. Just make sure that it says sweetened condensed milk. The next thing you need, and by the way, that's a 14 ounce can. The next thing you need is one cup of butterscotch chips. I've opened this bag, so I'm going to have to be careful with it, but it's just Toll House Butterscotch Chips, and again, you can use any brand. Store brand will work. Just make sure they're butterscotch. You're going to need one quarter, that's one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Now, when we get ready to cook this in the microwave in a minute, we're going to put the sweetened condensed milk the butterscotch chips and the salt in the bowl and cook those together in the microwave until the chips have melted. When we take it out, we're going to add two teaspoons of white vinegar and we're going to add one quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We'll stir those in right at the end. And of course, if you're going to have a butterscotch apple dip, you need apples. Now, Melissa and I certainly have favorite apples and we have apples we don't care too much for. We really like yellow apples or the apples that are yellow and pinkish red combined. Um, any of those we feel like are really sweet and crisp and good for eating raw. Okay, by the way, did you notice my shirt? I got this for Christmas from one of our daughters and she just thought it was hilarious and honestly my wife and I did too. So I thought, hey, what better shirt to wear on my videos than this? And this would be a good recipe to indeed lick the spoon, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right, so let's start with our Eagle Brand milk. You know me. I have to scrape that lid because I want every drop of that off there. Get rid of that lid. And put our sweetened condensed milk into our bowl. Now, one of the nice things about this is that you can do it in the microwave. You do not have to. This works well on the stove top too. Just use a small saucepan, put your Sweetened condensed milk, your butterscotch chips, and your salt in your small saucepan. And heat it just until those chips have melted. You do not want to bring it to a boil or, you know, you don't want to let it scorch, that's for sure. So, but if you've got a microwave... This is a perfect recipe to use your microwave. All right, so we've scraped out our sweetened condensed milk. I know it says lick the spoon, but you think you can lick the spatula too? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Those rules are flexible. That's right. So in goes our cup of butterscotch chips. And you know what? I don't think it was quite full. Let's add a few more. A few more aren't gonna hurt, are they? And just a little quarter teaspoon of salt. 
Okay. Now, let's stir that up just a little bit. Get those chips down in that sweetened condensed milk. It doesn't have to be stirred up a lot because you're gonna have to stir it once it melts. We will scrape the spoon. Get it in the microwave. Now, I'm going to start it on about two minutes. It may not take quite that long. It might take just a little longer. Get the sweet condensed milk off my fingers. Um, but we will watch it. We certainly don't want it to come to a boil. We want it just to get hot enough that those chips will melt. So let us get this melted and when it's ready to come out, we'll come back and show you how to finish it. I can tell that the chips are already melting. So I'm not gonna leave it the whole two minutes. I actually left it about a minute and a half. Oh yeah. Okay, look at this. Oh, I can see just some little pieces of chips down in there, but those will certainly melt as I stir it. So a minute and a half did it. Now, we want to stir in our two teaspoons of vinegar. This is an ingredient that just amazes me. Yeah, I know. When I was getting the ingredients out, Melissa was like, vinegar? Really? Are you sure about that? But it is. She's had it before on several occasions. She just didn't realize there was vinegar in it. Nope. And we need just a little quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, let's stir those in. Oh, it smells good. I can smell that cinnamon. I can smell the butterscotch. Yum O. Oh. Look how smooth and creamy that is. It's a really pretty color. It is, isn't it? You know what? <laughs> Our living room walls used to be that color. They did. I That's like a... that color. <laughs> you what? I really like that color. That's exactly the color that our living room used to be. No wonder I was always hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you can't have butterscotch apple dip without a sliced apple. I did scrub this apple, it's been washed well, and I hope it will go through this slicer. It's a huge apple. Perfect. There we go. And let's try it. Look at that. It sticks to the apple so well. All right, baby, you ready? Absolutely. Okay, there you go. Mm. How's that? Not very good. <laughs> you say with your mouth full. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm. You know that vinegar? Catch the sweetness of the sweetened condensed milk and the butterscotch chips just a little bit. So you can't really taste it. Oh, but, no, I don't taste the mm -hmm. vinegar at all, but, mm -mm. which is what surprised me that it was in there. But Yeah. I didn't realize that you didn't know it was in there. Nope. Oh. You don't have to tell anybody that this took a minute and a half. <laughs> If they ask, you just say, oh yes, I made this from scratch because you did. You don't have to say it took a minute and a half in the microwave. Mm. That is delicious. All right. We really do appreciate it. <laughs>
that you watch our videos. We appreciate the nice things you say. We appreciate that you share our videos. And we appreciate that you click the like button. If you don't care, just go down and click the thumbs up that says you liked it. If you haven't already, click subscribe and the little notification bell. And because Katie gave me this shirt. And life is short. Life is short. <laughs> Man, that is so good. Remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Happy New Year.